Okay. What's good, y'all? Shout out to Notification Gang for hitting the like button. And if you didn't start yet, y'all the villains ones in it. I appreciate you anyway. Fellas, listen. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to think of how to how to word this correctly, but do you have to pay uh, a woman just for her to you know come through and spend time with you? Like, do you think that? You would have to pay, you know, something like that. And it doesn't really have to be like, for example, it doesn't have to be like necessarily like a cash cash transaction where it's like, oh, okay, here's $300 or $500 or maybe Zelle or cash or can be. Maybe it's you buying her something, maybe buying a dress, uh, paying for your hair done, her nails done, a pedicure, manicure, whatever. Um, do you believe that you have to pay uh, for something like that? Put that in the comment section down below, man. I, I, I really want to hear... Uh, your thoughts on that? I really want to hear your thoughts on that, man. Um, because I, I mean, I, obviously, I want to know. But I found this video, and I thought it was extremely interesting. Right when when you have these types of people that have this, uh, that that had this like like this specific mindset, man. Like it, it really baffles me. Like the 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 crazy sense of entitlement when it comes to certain people, man. Like. Sh let me just play this video, man. Cause <laughs> Hold on one second. Yeah, man. So let, let's let's get into this. All huh? these girls that are on the internet, Instagram, or OnlyFans, or whatever the case might be, when we encounter niggas that say, for example, no, I want to meet you in person, we just automatically assume that you're broke as fuck and you can't give twenty dollars, you can't give a hundred dollars, you can't give a thousand, a five thousand, whatever the whatever the amount might be. We just automatically think that you're a broke ass nigga mm -hmm. or a stingy ass nigga. Yeah. So we even if we see you in person, we don't even, we no longer want to fucking see you. It's like, <laughs> ew, it's this fucking okay, nigga. Okay, where they saying uh -huh. this at? Where they saying this at? Your no. DMs or what? I'm not. No. 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 You automatically think that they're broke. Like, well, they, yeah, like what? What you mean automatically broke? <laughs> Maybe he just don't want to give you. <laughs> this is what this is what I'm talking about, fellas and ladies too. Not all y'all think this way, but ladies, y'all see what we got to deal with. <laughs> y'all think we got to deal with ladies. So if a man don't. Start putting cash in 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 her hand. She automatically gonna assume that he broke, and maybe he is broke. Okay, so what? But who's worse in this situation? The guy that you're looking at is broke because he doesn't want to give you money, or you expecting God to give you money because you're broke. Why can't you? Anyway, let, let's let's let's. For me and what, my girls, why do you get that? Okay, but you like me and you want to see me. All right. So when I gotta see you, I gotta get my nails done. I gotta get my hair done. I gotta get my makeup done. I gotta find an outfit. I gotta make. I gotta take the time to get ready. We'll and you. I'm gonna see you for fucking free. You can't send me no money. You can't be like, okay, baby, here, cause I am used to that. I'm used to niggas like the niggas that I have dated. They send it to you. Though. They send yes. it to me like, mommy, mommy here, right. mommy here. Get your nails done. Get your things done. Cause. Caribbeans, at least me, Dominican, Puerto Rican, we are like that. We like to cater yeah. to our women. Here, baby, get pretty for me. Buy something for me. I want you to wear this color. I want you this. Yeah. When you don't do that, you just be like, oh, uh, just pull up. I don't like to get money to <laughs> bitches. I don't know. When I see you in person, broke. Well, I don't want to no, no, no. Stingy. Urrah. Fuck you. Because I'm dating. I'm single. And I don't give a fuck if you're fat, if you're ugly, whatever. I fall in love with money. You give me money, I just love you, puppy. You that. know, I like money. That's so, what so I like. That's what you Blur. say. I hear that. Huh? I mean, you heard what she said, fellas. You can be ugly, you can be fat, you can be this, you can be the short, you can be all this, that, that, third. She loves money. Do you have it? Can you put it in her hands? You've seen this all the time, right? Like, for example, like the older guys, like they have like the yacht parties, like the old, you know, the old guy, big belly guys. And you see nothing but bad chicks on the boat twerking and shaking ass and smash, you know, letting the guy smash. And guys will always ask that stupid question. How would he get one like that? Money. Money. To so those old guys, that's financially stable. To so those old guys, it ain't nothing to put five stacks, 10,000 in her hands. That ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. He owns a yacht. I'm telling you right now, $10,000 is nothing to this man. 
That's probably half of a two week paycheck for him. I say all that to say this, fellas. I think it's crazy, right? I think it's I think it's insane. I think it's in. I, I mean, I'm just like so many women think this way, fellas, man. And 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 I, I really, really want y'all. This is why I tell guys all the time: you got to focus on yourself. You have to get on your job. Get on your job. You will always lose money chasing women you will never lose women chasing money my uncle told me that back when i was in middle school and i used to think to myself damn uncle need to stay off that hand man uh, drunk as hell high as hell talking nonsense and when i got older i used to always think back on things that my uncle used to tell me and i used to be like damn uncle probably was drunk he probably was high as hell but he was spitting facts he was spitting facts You have to be able to put yourself first. You have to. Because at the end of the day, she thinks she's trying to put herself first. Fellas, I'm telling you all, I'm telling you right now, I've said it so many times, bro, when you are with a woman that really likes you for you, you don't have to put money in her hands. She's going to get pretty off for you. She's going to get pretty uh, for you off her own expense or probably someone else's expense, whatever. Facts. Oh, I got to get my hair done. I got to get my nails done. I got to buy a new outfit. I got to do this. I got to get shoes. I got to do that. Why you got to do all that, bro? We just going out to the movies. What the problem? What the, what, what's going on? If you want me, I got to look pretty for you. And I got to do this. Fellas, I'm telling y'all right now. You think it's a game? Y'all think it's a game? I'm not saying all women think that way. That's definitely not what the hell I'm saying. I'm not saying all women think that way. But a lot of women in, like, modern, let me say that. A lot of modern women think that way. Let me say that. That's perfect. Majority of modern women think that way. And that's the problem that really kills me, man, is because it's just like, at the end of the day, you can do what you can do on your end to get whatever woman that you want. And then she'll have, you know, she responds to where she wants to respond. But don't be that simple. Don't be that guy that's putting dollar, you know, hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars in her hands. For what? You need to prove to me why I'm spending money on giving you this money. Prove it to me. Prove it to me. You, you can't do that? Oh, okay. I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks. Because I'm not your regular, degular, everyday ass guy, ma'am. You can find simps like that, and that's the reason why her ass is still single. Nobody noticed that. She said, "I'm single. How you still single, ma'am? You got these. You got all these men giving your ass all these types of monies, these coins. And now one of them guys that was giving you all this money ain't cuff you yet. Why? Because you're just another expense to them." $500 is, to me, $500 is not a lot of money. Will I spend it on a woman? Hell no. <laughs> but is it a lot of money to me? No. I told you, I've spent $500, $600. I spent on my mom's birthday. I spent damn near six, dollars $700 on my mom's birthday. And that's not even for me to flex. That's just for me to say, like, it's, it's nothing for me. I do that for women that, first of all, I love. Obviously, it's my mom. My mom gave birth to me. Obviously, I'm going to give, you know. I'm, I'm gonna take her out to an expensive restaurant. I bought her the uh, a new Samsung phone and some other things. Actually, I spent more. Now that I think about, it, I spent more than than that. Actually, yeah, I did spend more than that on actually because the the new I bought her a new phone, a new case, and then I bought her a matching uh smartwatch. Yeah, I spent more than that. I spent probably twelve or fifteen hundred dollars. Now I'm thinking, damn, I did spend a lot of money. Yeah, I, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I think back. I'm like, damn, I, what, what did I, I took her out for dinner? I bought her a watch. I bought her a phone. I'm thinking like, damn, I did spend a lot of money on her. Um, but this is the type of thing that I do for women that I want. Um, that that first of all, I love, obviously, family or the woman that I want to be with, a woman that I settled down with. I wouldn't mind doing that for a woman. Of course, why not? But if we're just going out on our first two, three dates, and you think I'm supposed to put a stat? Two, five stacks in your hand just because. Oh, get pretty for me, mommy. No, you get pretty on your own damn dime or someone else's dime. I don't give a damn, but it's not going to be on mine. 
Because I know for a fact, if you're really feeling me or if you really want me the way I think you want me or the way I want you, I'm going to have to do damn near anything. But maybe y'all think differently, man. I, I need y'all to comment down below and let me know what y'all thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. And until next time, please, man, y'all be safe for her, cuz.